Jacob, I know it gets cold for us and gets sub-zero every year, but I really have not gotten used to it yet. <laughs> we went over some of these records yesterday of how uh, unusual it is to get wind chills this cold. We haven't seen them since the wind chill formula was updated in 2001 in some spots. And check this out. Dickinson's low temperature yesterday of 33 degrees was the coldest in the Queen City in 34 years since 1990. On any calendar date, we had temperatures in the 20s below zero elsewhere, which we've seen uh, in much more recent memory. Today's lows were comparable. A couple Couple degrees warmer, but still very frigid, dangerously cold. High temperatures today were in the teens below zero in many spots. We did make it up to minus nine in Bismarck for a high today, but those wind chills still in the life threatening category. You still have to take this cold seriously. Even though we're on day four of this Arctic blast, don't get complacent with frostbite setting in in five to ten minutes with wind chills this cold in the 30s, 40s below zero, and some spots in the 50s below zero. But thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you to all of our ranchers, people that need to spend prolonged periods of time outside in this extreme cold, but we can still have some fun with it. Uh, some frozen pants here, frozen jeans captured by a few of our sky spies, and even a frozen fuel hose there. And the beauty of the cold with those sun dogs that we've continued to see throughout our weekend. Winds still out of the west northwest between 5 and uh, 20 miles per hour, and the winds will be intensifying tonight. This will be the difference from today into tomorrow is that our winds will be upwards of 40 miles per hour out of the northwest direction. That will not only make our wind chills still in that dangerous category, it could also lead to some blowing snow in central and eastern North Dakota. Winds won't back off that much into Tuesday either. Still some gusts on Tuesday, upwards of 35 miles per hour out of the more westerly direction into Tuesday with those winds finally backing off into Wednesday. So the blowing snow potential Monday and into Tuesday, highest over central and eastern North Dakota, especially in open areas. Expect the patchy blowing snow, maybe some areas of reduced visibility. But why the wind? Why is that occurring? Well, we have that Arctic area of high pressure that's led to our very frigid temperatures. That's to our southwest. Big, strong area of low pressure in Hudson Bay to our northeast. We're sandwiched in between. Tighten pressure gradient. You get that strong northwest wind to develop. And these wind chills will continue to be frigid as you're waking up tomorrow morning. Wind chills around 50 degrees below zero in some spots. And the wind chills don't improve all that much into the afternoon. 30s below zero for wind chills Monday afternoon. And into Tuesday, still 30s below zero wind chills before we see temperatures, actual air temperatures, get above zero degrees on Tuesday. Tonight, still a bitterly cold night. 20s below zero zero in many spots, teens below zero in central and eastern North Dakota. We'll have a mostly sunny sky on Monday, except in north central and eastern North Dakota, where there could be a couple of flurries. That could also be a contributing factor to the potential for some blowing snow, so a bit more cloud cover to the east, but still abundant sunshine farther to the west. High temperatures tomorrow in the single digits below zero, minus four in Dickinson, Bismarck, and Minot. But then check this out on Tuesday. On the positive side of zero, 14 in Dickinson, eight in Minot on Tuesday, 11 in Bismarck. And look at this, weekend outlook. Uh, I know it's several days away still, but something to look forward to getting above freezing in some spots by next Sunday. But in the All meantime, right. some light snow chances Wednesday and Thursday, nothing substantial. The winds calm down by then. Highs still in the single digits, but on the positive side of zero Wednesday through Friday. Uh, mostly sunny skies uh, for most of the days this week. But a big thing is that wind intensifying tomorrow. It's kind of the last thing oh. that we need when we're <laughs> trying to get out of this yes. Arctic outbreak. The winds to intensify, so still be very careful and take all the precautions, especially if you're traveling long, traveling long distances. Yeah. Have that survival kit. Grab a Let blanket. people know your plans. Yeah. Yep, definitely. Stay warm. Yeah, thanks, Jacob.